Are you an anime fan? Then you may want to check out Iron Girl, the ultimate weapon. This is a 2012 Japanese movie. I don't think it's based on any particular property, but it's very much like a kind of live action version of a anime show or a sort of manga or something like that, basically. And obviously, I think obviously, given the title, it's being some way kind of like marketed as a kind of like alternative to Iron Man, basically. And uh, maybe it has some similarities, but not all that much. Anyway, basically, it focuses on a uh, a world where World War Three has happened, and basically, Japan has been devastated, and essentially is a kind of lawless country now, and is really kind of this kind of I guess civil war between these kind of two factions that are basically called i think it's the um the bounty hunters and the bandits or something like that i think they have the kind of the actual names but basically that's what it comes down to and uh, i'm going to try and get this name right here uh, uh kira Ra asuka plays iron girl and she's kind of like on the on the good guy side obviously and she's kind of got this uh, uh almost like a kind of cyber suit which is basically kind of uh, comes from this like basically choker. She's kind of got this little barcode on her arm that she touches, and she kind of gets armoured up. And she's kind of got a bit of a bit of a mysterious past, and uh, they're basically kind of uh, kind of fighting these bad guys who who have got this kind of like mysterious uh, looking guy who kind of looks like Albert Wesker from the Resident Evil series. It's kind of cool. I quite liked it. Anyway, and basically it's just kind of you know a, a few different action set pieces. Not hugely uh, complicated, or as you probably would guess. So let's talk about the positives and the negatives of Iron Girl. And is it worth your time? Let me put it like this. If you're an anime fan, I think you will like this film. I feel it's kind of really made for a young male anime kind of audience, basically. There's a lot of kind of like uh, pretty girls... Uh, lots of boobs in it, lots of kind of like oh, sort of OTT violent. It's never particularly gory, but um, it's a kind of definitely a, a cartoonish uh, feel to it. I feel maybe if you're a female anime fan, you may not be so keen on this one. Uh, it, it sometimes gets a little bit rapey, I have to say, in times. And I've, I know this is probably true of a lot of ja uh, Japanese kind of media that seem, I seem to kind of end up watching, but. Um, I don't know. For to me, it kind of got a bit close to the knuckle sometimes with uh, maybe objectifying women somewhat. But anyway, uh, there's, I thought the costumes looked cool. I thought the the girl who played the, the Iron Girl herself was quite lovely and she's quite charming and uh, kind of quite charismatic. And the the action sequences that they're, they're, they're very well lit. They're colourful costumes. I thought they were kind of like choreographed quite well. They're all kind of a little bit over the top, but there's lots of like flashy kind of lighting effects and sound effects and stuff like that so i thought it was all kind of quite fun in regards to that and the story like i said is relatively simple i feel sometimes the japanese uh can kind of go a bit weird I and mean, this is this is not without its kind of weird points but it can go a little bit all over the place this one i felt was quite easy to kind of follow uh, if i'm talking about some negatives here the humor oh god it's painful i mean it maybe it's a taste thing but this, the, especially this, this film has got this one kind of like comedy, comedy character, this guy with like a, this, this uh, like old sort of World War Two flying sort of helmet on, and he's just unbearable to watch. I mean, like I said, it, it's obviously coming from a, a different kind of culture, but the humour is so basic and kind of so just like, uh, you know, juvenile and slapstick. It was painful to watch, and he gets so much screen time. Um, so I really did not like that him, his character specifically, uh, but just the, the general kind of humour in this film, I, I felt maybe it just just doesn't work for me, and I'm poorly executed. But like I say, if you like crap humour, then this may be the thing for you. Other than that, um, you know, it, it, gets a, it gets a little bit cheesy. There's lots of kind of CGI kind of blood, so it never really is a. Uh, a particularly deep film or kind of one you can kind of feel yourself sort of totally immersed in and some of the characters are kind of really kind of cliche as well uh, they all have their kind of thing like you have this you know the, the bad guys have all, all got their kind of and the good guys I guess have all got their kind of their little thing that makes them kind of oh this is the guy who does this this is the guy who always wears his cap or this is the guy who always has his hood up and stuff like that I don't know to me there's no real depth of the character they all have this like one little uh, personality trait that they kind of stick with and no one's ever kind of like multi-layered 
but maybe I'm thinking a bit about doing this. But like I said, if you are a, a young male and you like your kind of like sexy anime, uh, there's lots of boobs in this one, so you kind of like it. There's some pretty girls. It's kind of fun. It's certainly not the kind of the the worst offensive film in regards to I've seen from Japan. It's, there's no tentacle rape here, but uh, like I said, I think maybe if you are sensitive to kind of uh, rape and that kind of stuff it, it kind of borders on that a little bit sometimes but overall it was kind of fun i'm gonna give this movie a six out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.